just wanted to bring up was, uh, as we are at the ease of doing business, is really the visa situation into Zimbabwe. Firstly, I want to really thank and commend the uh, Office of the President, uh, Dr. Nukula, the Deputy Chief Secretary, uh, last year, uh, working with, uh, with us through immigration as I am a, a board member, ZTA, as well as, a, as a, um, an industry uh, I've got a company based out of Big Falls. So what you did, just to tell you on some of the low hanging fruits that we need as a country, is when you put China from category C to category B, which you slightly touched on, I just wanted to share with everyone so they'll know what happened between January and June, because I always think that facts are very important. In January to June uh, of 2015, last year, uh, over that six months period, we had 3,973 Chinese nationals that came through to Zimbabwe. In January 2006 to June 2000 and, uh, 2016, to June 2016, we had 5,380. Chinese nationals that traveled to Zimbabwe. That is a 32% increase for just making the ease of getting visas at the port of entry. Let's give the office of, of the president a round of applause. But, you know, it's not enough. I have to be open and honest and say it's not enough because of that uh, nation, which was one of the many that we, we really wanted uh, uh, to, to move on to category B. Just to give you an, a, an example, South Africa receives 58,096, uh, these were the numbers that they gave us for this year, 1st January to June 2016, uh, from China. Meaning that Zimbabwe gets about 10% of, of, of that number. So. Let me talk about India, because I've been there probably in the, the five times in the last three years. India is a country that runs its peak season of travel from January to July. January to July is peak season for <coughs> India. India is currently on category C, uh, Dr. Andukula. It is currently on category C, and just to tell you, South Africa, over this period of January to June, have already received 51,000 nationals from, from, from India into South Africa. Zimbabwe, from January this year to June, over that six month period, we only received 2,336, which is about 5% or less. So let's just say, you do, you do what you did for us earlier, because these are the low hanging fruits. We're not asking for a million dollars to bear market in India. We're just asking you to look at policy and see how you can do for some of these nations, because nations like India are a three, four, and five star clientele. Their average visit or stay when they travel is about 11 nights. The average spread over that period is 2014, 2014 dollars per person. Access into Zimbabwe is already there. Kenyan Airways flies several times into Harare, connecting with Nairobi, connecting with Delhi and Mumbai. South African Airways flies several times, uh, you know, the most times into, into Harare than any other airline, and also connects to those countries. So what I'm merely requesting is that uh, we came here and uh, as an industry uh, partner and member as well, we would like to live with results and we would like to live with timelines because I can tell you that together we can really change the numbers of visitors into, into this country by just sorting out a few of those issues such as the visa regime. So if we can get to a point where we realize that you know, we need these nations, uh, sometimes more than they need us, we will be doing our country justice and the entire industry. It's sad to hear that Kariba has dropped to 10% occupancy. The Indians can come in and travel to all these places. So uh, with that said, 
I'd just like to leave that to you. Thank you very much. Competitive nations. You know, you look at a country like Mauritius. How many people live in Mauritius? Two or three people, I think. Uh, um, <laughs> but, if you, but if you look at what Mauritius has, has been able to do, they've said if you want to visit, if you want to relax, come to Mauritius. Small country with a little with a little bathtub outside, and everybody loves going to Mauritius. But what they've done even better, they have said if you want to start a business in Mauritius, we will ensure that you get your license opened up, a license are issued, granted very expedi 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 expeditiously. Same as Rwanda. Rwanda to start a business takes 24 hours. You come to some of our countries, you will think that the politicians are God. They will make you run around. You should be, they, they are begging you, they, sorry, you are begging them to enable them to be successful. us to sustain our growth, we need to do what Tambeki says. You know, Tambeki says out of, out of our history, out of this continent, out of this country, out of our experiences, must come new ideas of a continent and countries which are rising, which reflect who we are. And these are some of the five things, a few things that should come out of our, out of our countries. Do you know, technology is a very, very big enabler. It's a big enabler also for tourism. Because we don't have the money to open up travel agencies everywhere else, but we can open up on the internet. And you look at what Mbesa has done, you look at what Mbesa has done for Kenya. Mbesa has created, has positioned Kenya as a very innovative country. Now people look at, Mbesa, at Kenya and they say that is the hub of technology in Africa. So creativity is important. And whether you want to go local or global, I say you must stay here at home. You must stay here at home in Africa and you must collaborate with other Africans. There is no reason for us to be going to Europe and many all these other countries to go and try and attract visitors to come and visit us. We should be getting other Africans to come here. If you look at countries like South Africa, where 60 to 70 percent of the visitors into South Africa are other Africans. That's what it should be. But we, even in South Africa, we don't spend as much money and time and effort in attracting those, uh, those countries or investing in those markets. If you look at intra Africa trade, only 12 to 15. Now, the story is a visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page, 263 Chats.